In question 5, the problem statement says, I buy a TV for rupees 10,000 and sell it at a profit of 20%. How much money do I get for it? So the cost price of the TV, the price at which I buy it is rupees 10,000 and I make a profit of 20% in selling it and we basically have to calculate the selling price of the TV. Now let me show you two slightly different approaches of solving this problem. Our first approach is based on the unitary method. Let's see how that will work. So we are given that the profit that I made was 20%. Profit of 20% means that if the cost price is let's say 100 rupees, if the cost price is 100 rupees, this means that the profit will be rupees 20. That's what the profit of 20% means, right? So the profit will be rupees 20 and this means that the selling price will be the cost price plus the profit. So rupees 100 plus rupees 20 or rupees 120. So what I've basically done so far is for a profit of 20%, if cost price is rupees 100, then the selling price will be rupees 120. So let's write it this way. Cost price of rupees 100 means a selling price of rupees 120 correct and therefore if the cost price is our actual cost price of 10,000 rupees so if cost price is rupees 10,000 then the selling price will be what so now we apply the unit method the selling price will be rupees 120 by rupees 100 so I am taking these two values rupees 120 by rupees 100 into the actual cost price which is rupees 10,000 okay and now we simply calculate this product uh, this expression so we cancel out the zeros and we get 120 into 100 and 120 into 100 will be rupees 12,000 okay so the selling price is rupees 12,000 okay now for our second approach we will first calculate the absolute value of the profit and then add it to the cost price to get the selling price. Let's see how to do this now. So once again, the profit is given as 20%. Now we will find the absolute value of the profit. So the profit will be 20% of the cost price. So 20 by 100 into the cost price or 20 by 100 into the cost price is rupees uh, 10,000. So 20 by 100 into 10,000. Uh, so this will be two zeros we cancel 20 into 100. So this will be ru rupees 2000. So a profit of rupees 2000 was made. And now we calculate the selling price. So the selling price will be the cost price plus the profit. Correct. So the cost price is rupees 10,000. And the profit we have calculated as rupees 2000. And the this sum is rupees 12,000. So once again, we arrive at the same answer that the selling price is rupees 12,000. So in the second approach, we have basically first calculated the profit absolute value and then added it to the cost price. Okay, so the answer for question five is rupees 12,000. And that completes the question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.